Well, Mike Reed, I'd like to ask you about how you see the effect of the quilts you make. Um, what, if any, experience that you hope people might have, perhaps with an example. One, one of the quilts that I made, I took out all the squares that I'd cut that were two and a half inches, and that was a lot smaller than most of the squares that I used. And since I've used different themes, they tended to be apple or fruit and flowers and a variety of things. And so I started putting them all together and making a quilt that turned out to be something that was the biggest one I've ever made. Uh, as I just decided to keep going with it, I was thinking of the theme of wallpaper, but really more like a mural. And because the images were so small, I kept putting in little chickens and um, things that little kids could start to find in, in amongst all the other images. And I also overlaid it with uh, some citrus, so it had like yellows and orange cascading through the quilt. It's a hard one to, to see on an image of it because it's so large. You have to see it up close to see uh, the intricacy of it. But after I made that quilt, I decided to do the same thing with vegetables. And I started using all the uh, vegetables that I had but the pictures of them weren't as interesting, so I began to arrange them into a nine patch. And while I was making that quilt, it's always good to work on more than one at the same time. For some reason, I decided that I had to work also with these very, very, very large um, flowers that were bright orange, bright yellow, and they also had these big birds. And while I was working on that quilt, I began to uh, use one of my favorite patterns, which is a circle inside a square. And I used that pattern with large flower images and black and whites um, throughout the quilt. And that was probably one of my favorite ones that I've ever made. It's, it's, it's one that should be in an airport, or the whole group should be. But... Um, it's like you start someplace, and I started with the vegetables, and I wound up with something that I called Moon Garden, which has these totally different circle um, pictures and themes to them. So you never know where you're going to actually wind up.